yeah. Hey guys, it's she. I'm back today with another video. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you a really cool DIY. I'm gonna be painting some items that I found at the thrift store and we're gonna be creating some cool little topiary trees, which are great for decorating. And then also if you're like me and you're a thrift reseller, then you can put these into your booth or put them on Facebook Marketplace and get them sold. So guys, today at the thrift store, I found these two little tins. I thought they were so cute and adorable and they are, you guessed it, metal. And they have like a stamp design all over. So honestly, we don't have to paint this, but I think it's gonna add a little bit more visual interest if we add some white paint to it. I'm gonna stop talking, let's just get straight into the DIY. Guys, so the paint I'm gonna be using today is actually a custom made paint. The little container I got from the Dollar Tree, they are soup containers and they're fabulous. I like to mix flat paint and also calcium carbonate dust. You can buy the dust from Amazon, the link will be down in my description box. And this to me is the best and most affordable way to make your own paint. The color I typically use is called French Canvas and you can get a gallon of flat paint from Walmart for $12. Guys, I used to always hate painting furniture with a brush because I will always have these god awful streaks. And what I realized is that you have to use the proper brushes. So I use these synthetic brushes that I ordered from Amazon. Guys, it's made painting furniture so much better. I no longer get streaks. So again, if you wanna pick those up, you can pick them up by shopping my Amazon affiliate link and it's down in the description box. A lot of the DIYs I do are completely experiments, okay? I don't want you guys to think, oh my gosh, she just knows everything. She's so talented, blah, blah, blah. I'm just not afraid to try. So, what I did the first time was I actually applied too much paint and as I as I got to the other half of that little section, I noticed that it looked much better with just the white enhancing the embossed letters. So I used a white rag and I just wiped off some of the excess paint. And then from here on out, what you'll see me doing is just lightly applying the paint over top of the raised letters. And it just looks so cool and graphic. It gives it like a contemporary, modern style. Like I could see somebody who has like open beans or exposed brick in their house having these little um, topiary trees in their home. So this is how they turned out. Pretty cool, right? And we aren't gonna put a top coat or anything because honestly, it doesn't need it. Five minutes later. So I was really gonna torture you guys and let you hear the sound of me cutting these floral foams but you guys ought to be happy that I didn't because they sound horrible. I purchased two of them from the Dollar Tree and just cut them in half with an X-Acto knife. Next, I took these sprigs of boxwood. I didn't have any wire cutters, so I used these janky scissors. And then this is the fun part, just arranging the boxwood inside of your little topiary box. You wouldn't believe how fun and therapeutic this is, so I really challenge you guys, go to the thrift store, try to find a container go to Walmart pick up these little sprigs they're only 97 cents so you won't spend much on this DIY at all and it's just super super fun even if you don't sell them y'all know plants be costing a lot at CJ Maxx and Ross and all those places so instead of spending $20 on one I challenge you to make one for yourself so thank you so much guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Leave some comments down below. If you decide to recreate this DIY for yourself or something similar, tag me on my Instagram at late or Cozy Interiors by She. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!